Hello YouTube, my name is Jason and this is Lionware. Today I'm going to teach you about the final keyword and abstract method. Well, not the final keyword in general, but the final keyword as it works with classes and methods. So we already have our class right here. We need to go ahead and create a new class. So let's go ahead and do a class um, Yoda. Yeah, Yoda. Do you? And now we have this class right here, and we can extend it. So let's go ahead and extend Yoda. And of course, you want these to be in capital letters, but I didn't do it. So let's go ahead and change those to capital letters. Okay, now Yoda is in a capital. So now we have these... Uh, this class Yoda and if we put the final keyword on here it gets an error and the reason it gets the error is because you can't implement you can't extend any further with the final Yoda because this basically means they don't want you to make modifications to the code inside of it say you have a a method in here and you don't want anything to make any kind of modification to this method that's one of the reasons you would want to use this final keyword with Yoda because you don't want it to be uh, overridden so that's one of the reasons you want to use that final keyword and that's why we get an error now you could still use the class itself so if we went ahead and said Yoda uh, bum or bub something I don't know new Yoda we can still create an object out of it but we just can't extend Yoda because they don't want us to make modifications to the objects inside of the interface now you don't really have to have that so let's go ahead and do the final and the next thing I want to do is I want to create a method so we're going to just go ahead and do a public void bag of chips I guess and now we have this method I almost made it abstract but anyways so now we have this method called bag of chips if we can override bag of chips so let's go ahead and do that and you remember we just use this annotation and say override and then we just come over here and we're just going to copy this and we're going to put it right under here under annotation. So now we have this and it's overriding this. And if you remember, if we put the static keyword right here, it just hides it. Whereas if you don't, then it overrides it. So that's the difference. And you get an error if you put the static keyword because you can't override a static. You can simply hide it. Now, if we was to put the final keyword right here, that means this is the final implementation or def definition of this method, meaning you can't override this method. But if I was to create another method, you could override that one. It's just this method, I don't want you to change. Just like with the uh, final variables, like if we had a final... Uh, int x and made it equal to 5 you can't change int x so let's say this x uh, x equals 10 12 you can't change it and the reason you can't change it is because it's final and if we remove the final keyword then you can change it same thing with the method you can't change this method because it has that final keyword in it. But say you want to change it, but you don't want it to be changed ever again after that last change. You could put it right here, and it'll be just fine. Now it's being changed, but it doesn't want to change any further than this. This is the last implementation of Bag of Chips, whereas this one is not. That's some of the ways you can use that final keyword and some of the reasons you would want to use it. For a second there, I thought I had my mic turned off. thought I was going to have to start the video over. But anyhow, <laughs> let's go ahead and go over the abstract keyword. 
And if you remember, inside of the interfaces, we had this uh, abstract method that we went over. And the abstract method was something like public, void, uh, bingo. And we ended it with a semicolon. And if you notice, I created a new meth, a uh, new class here, and I made an abstract class. And the way you do that is you just come right over here to the default package, right click, go to new, and just create a new class, and then just add this keyword called abstract uh, before class, and that's how you make an abstract class. And an abstract class is unique in the fact that it's can do pretty much anything a normal class can, but it also can make abstract keywords. I mean abstract methods. And if you remember, you cannot create an abstract method inside of a normal class. So let's say abstract um, void uh, Play-Doh. We get an error because this is an abstract class. But if we was to cut this off, and bring it over to here. Now we can create an abstract class. We can also create, I mean, an abstract method. But we can also create a abstract, I mean, a normal method in here. So we can do void uh, Zeus, I guess. And you can still create normal methods in here. And that's one of the reasons why you would want to use an abstract class instead of an interface is because it can use normal methods, whereas an interface can't. But one of the benefits of using an abstract class over, I mean, an interface over a abstract class is that, let's say we extend Bumber. See, we can extend Bumber. We don't need that anymore. We can extend Bumber, and it's getting this error because we still have to add that unimplemented method. Remember, Play-Doh was an abstract class, so we have to create that method. We have to define it. So now we have this defined method, and of course it has Zeus in it. We can override that one if we want, but it's already created, so we don't have to worry about it. But this one we have to override. But it's of this extends keyword. And if you remember, you can only extend one item. You can't extend more than one item. Say if we wanted to extend Yoda, error galore, because you can't extend more than one item. Whereas with the interface, let's say implements, still uses that implements keyword, and you can implement as many interfaces as you want, if you remember. And again, we still have that unimplemented method that we got to throw in there. Bingo, right there. And that's the difference. With an interface, you can have as many as you want. But with an uh, abstract method, you can't. And inside of an abstract method, you can create fully defined methods. Whereas in an interface, you cannot. And for the last bit of this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you the differences in a interface in an abstract uh, class. So basically, a abstract class is faster than an interface. It's but an interface implements can implement several interfaces, as I was just instructing you right here. It can implement several interfaces, whereas an abstract class can only do one. And a interface can only uh, use abstract methods, whereas a abstract class can use abstract and normal methods. So let's just say the drawbacks for an interface, it's quite slow, whereas the drawbacks for an abstract class is it's not able to extend more abstract classes. So that's pretty much all I'm going to go over in this tutorial. Thank you for watching. My name is Jason. This was Lineware. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a great day. Round two, here we go again.